Adventure quest. Adventure quest. Okay. Lots of questing. And of course, adventuring. Oh wait. By questing and adventuring, I mean pointing and clicking. So unless you have the imagination capable enough to think up a whole plot of Harry Potter before even knowing about its existence, this game will get boring. And by will, I mean will. Meaning you might just get to level 100 or so before it'll get boring, but it'll be probably level 30. But wait, there's more. For $20, you can become a guardian. No, not that kind of guardian. It's, um, it's, it's this thing. Whatever, whatever that is. The game has a plot, I think, but I get the feeling it didn't have one until one of the guys at Artrix said, Hey, let's do this event, and the other guys went, Okay, lol, and their spawn was a Devourer Sagra, probably the most mentional plot piece in the whole piece. Hehe. <laughs> Only problem is that said Sega is about 50 to 60 years long of battle. Not to mention the cutscenes. The worst part is, the next button in the dialogue is always in a different part. So you can't just click on the same spot as if you just spotted a guy in Call of Duty using an SMG when you have nothing but a handgun. The battle can be enjoyable though, if you're one of, uh, you know, these guys. Eh? Eh? Didn't think so. No. Well, all in all, the game isn't a total piece of crap. I mean, essentially, the game is polished, refined, and pretty cool. So, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to have to get it a 3 out of 5. Um, uh, I mean, uh, adventure out of quest.